Hey everyone, Jared here. Welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at five two-handed 16th note grooves from five different worship songs. So, here we go. The first groove is from the song Freedom by Jesus Culture. So this song is at 124 beats per minute. It's the fastest groove in these examples. And what you're doing with the uh, snare pattern is you are basically following the rhythm of the electric guitar lead line is you're accenting every third note on the snare so you could think about that as like a dotted eighth note rhythm so this is a two measure phrase so at the end of every second measure you do all four hits on the snare on the last beat for enda so check out how this first groove sounds Okay, groove number two is from the song Chasing You by Bethel Music. So this groove is actually the intro groove in the song. If you listen to the track, it starts right away with the drums. And so I'm just playing this groove over and over again in this example. If your snare is hitting on uh, one and two, three, a uh, four, and a uh, one. Okay, so lots of movement back and forth, right hand and left hand. Uh, just go slowly at first and make sure you're placing each of those notes in the correct spot. Okay, check out how the second groove sounds. All right, so groove number three is from the song Lion and the Lamb by Bethel Music. This song is not busy with the snare going back and forth between the hi-hat. It's uh, more syncopated with the kick drum. So we're going one and a on the kick of the first beat. Dun -dun -dun -ka. And then we do an open hi-hat on the end of beat three. Dun -dun -dun -ka. So the trick with this groove is to line up those first three kick hits on the one, the and, and the uh of the first beat perfectly with the hi-hat. That's that's the toughest part. Dun, 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 ga. Just go slowly as you work on the coordination and just making sure all those notes are matching up perfectly. Check out how groove number three sounds. Okay, moving right along, we're now to groove number four, which is from the song This Is Amazing Grace by Phil Wickham. And this is actually the drum groove from the second verse in the song. So this is the most complicated groove in uh, these examples, uh, but it's super fun to play and it's, it's awesome once you kind of figure out exactly what's happening. It's a two measure phrase, but the kick rhythm is the same for both measures. So you're going one, a two, a three, and E. So on the first measure, the hi-hat opens on beat one, and then it's just snare drums and kick. But on the second measure, you have uh, on beat two, you have the snare going around the toms. ba do do boom Snare, tom, floor, kick. Check out how this fourth groove sounds. Okay, the last groove in this example is from the song Great Things by Phil Wickham. So this is pretty much a straight ahead, four on the floor with the kick, two and four on the snare, alternating 16th notes on the hi-hat. Uh, the only tricky part is at the end of the second measure, you're gonna start this tom and snare fill on beat three of that second measure. So you're going three and uh on the rack tom, land beat four on the snare, dun dun ka, and then your left hand is going to stay up on the rack tom, doom, doom, ka, doom, and a uh, four E and a uh, finish on the floor tom. Check out how this fifth groove sounds.
All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really hope you enjoyed this drum lesson. Be sure to download the transcription for this lesson in the description of the video. It's just that first link there. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Tuesday and Friday each week, so you don't want to miss that. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.